After showing off the M2 chip at WWDC 2022, Apple's almost ready to show off the M3 chip, which will be in its next product. The M3 chip is expected to be a big step up from the M2 chip because it will use a new manufacturing and production method that will give it a big boost in both performance and efficiency. Details about the M3 chip the most important change is that the M3 chip will now be made using a method that uses a 3 nanometer fabrication process. The 5 nanometer method was used to make the last two Apple Silicon chips for the Mac and the most recent iPhone models. The nanometer size of a chip's manufacturing process refers to the space between the transistors that are on the chip. The more space is cut down, the more effectiveness and efficiency improves. The change has been big because the size of production has gone from 5 nanometers to 3 nanometers. This will improve both the speed and efficiency of each core and make it possible to fit more cores into the same amount of space. A Bloomberg source says that the M3 Pro chip's most basic form will have a maximum of 36 gigabytes of RAM, 12 CPU cores, and 18 GPU cores. From this, it looks like the base M3 Pro chip has two more CPU cores and two more GPU cores than the base M2 Pro processor. Also, it looks like the base M3 Pro will be able to support up to 36 gigabytes of RAM, which is more than the M2 Pro chip, which could only support up to 32 gigabytes. Theoretically, the M3 base chip, the M3 Max chip, and the M3 Ultra chip should all improve speed in the same way. We've not yet found that more information about the variation of the M3 chip family as a whole has been made public. As is usually the case, Apple could find its own unique balance between making things easier and making them work better. The group could put more emphasis on efficiency by focusing on things like making batteries last longer and letting small improvements in performance be good enough. It's also possible that it could work in the opposite way, making the battery last longer while keeping or improving its efficiency and making it much better at what it does. The first Macs with an M3 chip are, Bloomberg says that the 13-inch MacBook Air, an updated 24-inch iMac, and an M3 MacBook Pro will be among the first Macs to come out with an M3 chip already installed. Yes, you're looking at Apple's 13-inch MacBook Pro with a touch bar, which, for some reason, the company still sells. Higher-end Macs like the 14-inch and 16-inch MacBook Pro are not expected to get the M3 CPU upgrades until sometime between the beginning and middle of 2024. The power for these computers will come from the M3 Pro and M3 Max CPUs. Apple's most likely to put the M3 Ultra chip in high-end Macs like the Mac Studio and Mac Pro at some point next year. Apple's working on a newer version of the iPad Pro that will come out around the beginning of 2024 and will also have an M3 chip, just like the Macs that already have them. Everything from Apple moves to the M3 chip. With the release of the M3 chip, Apple has taken a big step toward moving to silicon. Apple's plan to set up a regular release schedule includes putting M3 processors in all of its Mac devices. This bold move will make sure that the M3 chip in one of its many forms is in every Apple computer. So it will mark the beginning of an age of Intel central processing units and make everything the same. Delays and supply shortages. Since the M3 chip will be TSMC's first 3 nanometer CPU, it's likely there will be delays and problems with making it. In fact, TSMC has already said that it has trouble meeting the demand for 3 nanometer chips from its clients. We'll give you more information in the weeks running up to the release of the first Max with the M3 chip, which could happen as early as October according to rumors. Let's take a moment to talk about a few Apple products that we should not expect to see in 2023. Since the second generation of AirPods Pro just came out, it's very unlikely that Apple will release a third generation model this year. The second generation of AirPods Pro came out in September of the year before. It had significant improvements to active noise cancellation, adaptive transparency mode, H2 chips, extended battery life, touch volume controls, improved battery life, IPX4 sweat and water resistance, Apple Watch charger compatibility, the U1 chip for precise finding, and more. Because this update is so big, it may be a while before enough other upgrades are ready for a third generation model. The second generation of AirPods Pro came out 35 months after the first generation. This means that it might be a while before a third generation model is offered to consumers. In the same way, it looks like Apple only updates one type of its Apple headphones every year. The next update will come first for the AirPods Max and then for the regular AirPods. 
This means that Apple might not release the third version of AirPods Pro until at least 2025. Even though there have been a lot of rumors about the fourth generation iPhone SE, some of which happened before the current third generation model came out in early 2022, it's becoming clear that the device won't be coming out this year and may have been scrapped altogether. The A15 Bionic chip is in the current version of the iPhone SE. It's also in the iPhone 13 Small, the iPhone 13, the iPhone 13 Pro, the iPhone 13 Pro Max, the iPhone 14, 14 Plus, iPad Mini, and the next generation Apple TV 4K. Even though the iPhone 15 comes out in the fall, Apple is expected to keep selling the iPhone 13, 14, and 14 Plus for the rest of this year. Because of this, the current iPhone SE will still have pretty up-to-date tech for the whole year. This will make it less important for Apple to update the device. Apple also seems to release a new iPhone SE model every two or three years, which makes it less likely that the company will make an update this year. There's also been common and fairly constant talk that the next version of the iPhone SE won't come out until 2024, not this year. Even more surprising is the fact that recent news about the device has raised doubts as to whether or not it will ever come out. Mark Gurman of Bloomberg said in October there was no proof that an iPhone SE with a Touch ID slide button was in the works. Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo said in December that the company had either canceled or delayed the release of the fourth-generation iPhone SE because shipments of middle-tier and lower-end smartphones like the third-generation iPhone SE, the iPhone 13 mini, and the iPhone 14 Plus have been consistently lower than expected. The most talked-about new iPads are the iPad Pro models of the next generation, but it seems unlikely that Apple will release them this year. Apple updated its 11-inch and 12.9-inch iPad Pros in October 2022 with the M2 chip, Apple Pencil Hover, Smart HDR4, Wi-Fi 6E, and Bluetooth 5.3. This was a small update that was similar to the one that came with the iPad Air's fifth version. Apple has been thought to be working on its own electric car for a long time. The project seems to be getting better and more focused, but the car probably won't be given to the public this year. There have been a lot of good reports about Apple's plan for a car, but Bloomberg says that the company recently cut back on its plans and dropped its suggested price of $120,000. This means that the company no longer wants to make a fully self-driving car with no steering wheel or pedals. The car will now look a lot more like other cars, have restricted self-driving features, and cost less than $100,000. The car won't come out until at least 2026, though it could be mentioned as early as 2025. Thanks for watching this video.